Hello, hello. Today's April 22nd. <laughs> and just leaving a home path. Had a night. Glad I did because it rained and it's cold out. And had McDonald's last night. Then I had Subway for dinner. And I have Subway in my pack for lunch. And I've got two days to get to Wrightwood. Um, so. Let's go, let's go into this creepy bridge. I have to go in there to get to the other side of the freeway, I guess. It's really, <laughs> it's really creepy. The sign says PCT over there. I'm just gonna check on my app. I'm at the end of the tunnel. Stay in the light. I just wanted to tell you about my roommate that I had last night. Her name is Casey. And she, I was already in the room and all of a sudden I get this random text from a number I don't know. She introduces herself and she says, Hey, I'm at McDonald's. I was talking to Pierre and he said you're in a room and you'd be open for a roommate. And they said, yeah, sure. So I shared a room with a complete stranger. Really had no idea if Casey was female or male. Um, and told her where my room was and she came in and she needed that break. I was happy to share the room with her. But that's kind of neat. Like you wouldn't do that in real life share a room with a complete stranger. Um, but we all kind of look after each other on this trail when we pass each other if someone's resting. We always ask, go, oh, hey, are you okay? And like, yeah, oh, yeah, just resting. Um, and it's obvious if someone's having a bad day, we kind of hike with them for a bit or talk to them and get them through. And uh, it's a really, a, a really good community. I haven't met anyone that are not um, friendly and willing to help yet. So I just wanted to put that out there. Look at those clouds. They say they're going to go away. Counting on it. sign down there that's McDonald's, that's the highway that I went under, and then I climbed up to this elevation, and now I will show you on the elevation profile what that looks like. So when you look at the elevation profile on the Faro app, it looks really intimidating. I hardly ever look at it because it looks like it's straight up, but um, it's not, you climb, there's a flat spot, you climb, there's a flat spot, you take breaks, and it's uh, doable. I'm not, I just, these clouds, I did check the weather, and it said it's supposed to clear up, but, mm, might be my first time out in the rain. It's gotta happen sometime. Yes, Subway sandwich on the trail. I'm at mile marker 348, well just about 348.7. And this is the last water cache until you get into uh, Wrightwood, I believe. So it's not very hot out today, it's actually chilly. But I've got... Um, a Gatorade bottle. I filled up two and a half liters at the hotel and then I just filled my uh, one liter bottle up with mostly the full amount. Gosh. I've been on this trail for three and a half weeks. Mentally I'm getting stronger. Physically I'm stronger. 
Um, I'm not carrying certain things in my pack that I did bring with me. I kind of, I like them. I wanted them, but I had to let them go. And it's weird because that's happening mentally too. Like I'm not carrying some of the mental baggage that I have going on in there. It's like I want to hold on to it. I don't want to let it go. But at the same time, I'm tired of carrying it. <laughs> so I'm letting it go. Purging. <sighs> this is like an all day climb. Can you see the trail over there? That goes down. And in front of me, goes up. It's pretty much a climb all day. I've got seven more miles to go until I'm calling it a day. And uh, it's pretty, and it's not hot. And there's nice cloud cover, so that's good. That's quiet. <laughs> it's always hard coming out of town. I'm, I'm getting used to it, but, uh, well, and you know it's... You're going uphill. <laughs> you never just come out of town and it's a nice easy walk. It's uh, okay, well, you know, you've had your fun. Time to go to work. Uphill. Yeah. That's good. Oh, heavy breathing required today. I've been climbing since nine it's almost two i've got five more miles to go before camp and i'm really happy it's not hot and sunny or windy lots of cloud cover and i'm really happy it's not raining on my head <sighs> okay break over oh good I'm climbing the right mountain. Ugh. I'm at mile 354. Today is like a slog. Not feeling it today. There's two campsites here. I'm trying to decide do I do another three or just stay? Only 20 after three. If I do more today, I can do less tomorrow and get into town. So, and it's not hot. Uh, so I'll keep going. I'll keep going. Well, I made it. Uh, I don't even know how many kilometers I did today. I should have checked more than I thought I was going to do. I'm up higher than I would like to be. I'm at 6,600 feet and I can see snow cap mountains right in front of me. I'll turn the camera around to show you. Uh, camped alone. <laughs> All the things that I love. <sighs> and today was just a big, big, big climb. Um, but I love that there was no rain. I love that there was cloud cover and no hot sun. Um, but I'm tired and I'm going to watch a movie and go to bed. Here's my view. So that's it. Tomorrow I'll be in Wrightwood. Good. Good morning. <laughs> Eight o'clock. I'm going to take a picture of the sunrise.
All right, I've got all my stuff packed up. But those mountains there, I have a picture of those mountains from town. So I will find it, put it in here in this video. 6.46, I got 11 miles to do to get to Wrightwood. Still got climbing and then some descend and uh, I'm meeting up with the Europeans. We agree to share um, a cabin and uh, they're, I don't know where they are. They're ahead of me. They probably will get there this morning. I'll get there by one, I would say, which is fine. And my roommate from um, a couple nights ago, Cassie, she's only a kilometer behind me. We have cell service up here. So we were messaging last night, thank goodness, because I'm all by myself. I was kind of nervous about that, but uh, knowing that she was just about a kilometer behind was good. Okay, let's see what the day brings. almost nine o'clock still climbing but I'm in the trees a little bit so it's not too too bad but I'm freaking slow I don't know if it's the altitude or if it's just in the morning or I'm just tired from hiking for the last month but uh, it doesn't matter I'm getting it done and I'll be in town this afternoon. There's some snow on the trail, but there's some good footholds, so I don't really need micro spikes. It's not very dangerous. You just go slow and step in the footholds. But this is the view. Alright, I'm almost done this climb. Okay. <laughs> this section is a bit slippery and icy. I probably should have put my micro spikes on. But I just took it really slow. And this section is dry. What, what? I finished the climb up. It's taken me 12 hours of actual hiking to climb this mountain. Uh, 8,000 and just over 8,300 feet. Mile marker 369, I believe it is. <sighs> but I still have snow and I still have to go down. But uh, getting closer, getting closer. Whew, it's cold. <sighs> gotta keep me, gotta keep moving. It's still full of snow. But not on a ledge yet. So there is that. I mean, I do have micro spikes. I should put them on. They're all the way at the bottom of my pack. And, uh. All right, I'm giving in. I'm putting on my micro spikes and my puffy jacket because I'm cold. Okay. 
and I lied. There's some more climbing, and it was steep. Uh, and it was like an end. I should have took the side trail. No, no. Going all the way to Highway 2. Uh, people camp up here. taking kids up here. I can't deal with my own lining. Oh my god. I'm gonna officially say that today sucks. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, it's snow and it's cold and I'm climbing and I just wanna get down. Ah. It's a big old watering hole. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like the snow water, I guess. The snow. <sighs> okay. Let's get off. Three more miles. I've got some young hikers in front of me that I have been keeping up with. They've been setting up the pace for me. So, let's hope I don't need my micro spikes anymore. Where are you from, Trina? Canada. Uh, Ontario. You? Uh, I'm from Portland, Oregon. Oh, okay. I'm on top of a ski hill, mile and a half away from Highway 2. Well, I think this is it home to Wrightwood. I can say that section sucks. There's two hikers up ahead. Her mom is coming to meet them. I see a car and they also offered me a ride. So, hallelujah. Whew. This section is done. So hopefully I won't feel every single stone I step on. I have to work them in. 